total 60 patients who had peripheral lesion uh, were subjected to a radial lebus guided cryobiopsy. The guide sheet was used for the radial lebus and the 1.1 cryoprobe was introduced with the same guide sheet. A fluoroscope was used after introducing the radial probe. So once you reach the target lesion with the radial probe, the, uh, the site is marked on the fluoroscope, the guide sheet stays inside. You pull out the radial lebus and you go inside with the 1.1 cryoprobe. You confirm the site again on the fluoroscope and then you take a biopsy. So a total 60 patients underwent the same uh, procedure and uh, out of this adenocarcinoma turned out to be the most common diagnosis in almost 45% uh, patients. The complication uh, rate was 66% patients had mild bleeding, uh, whereas 30% uh, patient had moderate bleeding which required a balloon. And uh, severe bleeding was seen in only two patients who required uh, post-procedure intubation. And uh, patients which have the positive bronchus sign had uh, a better diagnostic rate of 97% as compared to the patients with negative bronchus sign. Can you please scroll down once? Yes. Yeah. So. Here you can see like, for example, this is the lesion, it's a subcentimetric lesion. This is the image on the radial probe. This is confirmed on the fluoroscopy, the radial probe is removed. With the same guide sheet, the 1.1 cryo probe is introduced and a sample is obtained, so that is the size of the sample. So the use of 1.1 cryo probe gives you better access with better penetration and uh, access to some difficult areas. Thank you. Thank you so much.